Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Coding Demos. In this tutorial, we're going to go through the uh, the Android Studio. So what I have right now, at the time of this recording, the the latest release of Android Studio is the Android Studio Ladybug. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to download this Android Studio, and then I'm going to go a bit of introduction on uh, on what you can do with Android Studio, and then some of the functionalities and just to give you all a, a quick introduction on the platform or the tool. So to go to this page, what we need to do is just go to your browser and then just type this link here and you'll be brought to this page. Now, what you have here is the, the current version of Android Studio, that is the Ladybug. And then if you scroll down a bit, then you have the, uh, the new features that is part of this release. Now, what you need to do is just click on the download button here. Then you will have a long terms and condition, which you need to uh, accept that. You scroll all the way down and then you have a checkbox that says I have read and agree with the, with the above terms and condition. You click on that. Then right now, since I'm running on a Mac, then I have these two options, whether I want to install it with uh, Intel chip or with Apple chip. If you're running a uh, Windows, for example, you may have different versions, but just choose the one that is that matches with your operating system. Once you choose that, and then you'll be able to download that, and then you would see the installation. So you will see the download progressing through. Once the download is complete, then just proceed with the installation, and then the installation is pretty quick. Once the installation is complete, then you would see the Android Studio, which looks something like this. So by default, the project tab is the main uh, screen that you would see the moment you launch Android Studio. And before you even reach up to this screen here, I think somewhere during the, uh, the installation, if you have previously installed Android Studio in your laptop, then Android Studio will prompt a message saying that, do you want to replace the current version with the newer one? Then you just proceed with yes. If this is a fresh start, a fresh install, then you won't see that message during the installation. So now let's assume the, the, the download is complete, the installation is complete, what do we do next? Now here is, this is where the, you will see the uh, the main screen or the default screen, or we can call this the welcome to Android Studio screen. What we have here is uh, the a list which shows you the projects that you're working with or that are saved in your machine. Now for this example, I have these two projects. That's why you see them on my list here. If you don't have uh, anything, then this list would be empty. Then we have these three buttons on the top. So if you click on the new project, this will open up this screen here. You can choose which uh, uh, kind of project that you want to start the development with. And on the left side here, you have different kind of templates. So for example, if you're building for phone and tablet, then you choose the one from the list here. Then if you're building for Wear OS, you choose that one. If you're building for TV or automotive, then you choose the one that you want to uh, start with. Now let's go back to the font template. So this is what you will see on this screen here. Now the the second button is the open. So if you have any Android Studio project saved in your machine, then you just click on the open, you locate that file, and then you open that straight away. Then you have clone repository. Clone repository, this allows you to clone a project from GitHub. So for example, if you click on this clone repository, if you have, you can actually log into your accounts to either one of them, and then you can uh, straight away pull that project into uh, to, uh, into your Android Studio. If you haven't yet logged in into your account, then you can just copy the, the GitHub link, and then you paste it here, and then the directory, this is where you want to save that project. You just choose that, uh, choose whatever directory that you want to save your project into, and then just click on clone. Then we have these three dots. So if you click on them, then the first option 
is called import an Android code sample. Now these code samples are a project done by uh, the, the Android developers themselves from Google, whereby, for example, let's say you want to test a certain function and you want to see how that uh, is developed or built, then you could look into these samples which are done by the by the team back in Android and you can run that into your into your Android Studio to see how that runs or see how that looks like. Then we have the profile or debug APK. This is where you want to go in depth on and trying to analyze the performance of your APK file. And then we have the virtual device manager. This is where it allows you to create the the emulator that you can actually use it to build apps on. And then we have the SDK manager. This is where you can actually download the all the uh, the different types of uh, Android Studio tools that you want to use them to start building the apps. So the virtual device manager it looks something like this. Well, your list might be empty. It might have few uh, emulators. For my case here, I have only one which I have created it. But nevertheless, in the upcoming tutorials, I'll walk you through on how you can create these uh, emulators. Then we have uh, the SDK manager here. This shows you the the whole list of the SDK platforms. So you can choose which one by just clicking on these check boxes, and then you can click on the OK. That's where it get uh, starts downloading that uh, particular SDK into your machine. All right. So on the left side here, we have the projects, which shows you the default projects that are available in your machine. Then you have customize. This allows you to customize the appearance of your Android Studio in terms of what? Well, in terms of the theme here, you have plenty of options to uh, change the appearance of the of the Android Studio. By default, it's set to dark, but you can change it to light, for example, and it looks something like this. I'll return back to dark. And then you can even change the languages, the region, or even if you want to go uh, increase the font size. I think this goes up to, yeah, up to 72. Uh, for my case, I'll just leave this as a default, but you're welcome to customize this uh, following your own preferences. Then we have plugins. So plugins is uh, tools that you can actually download and integrate into your Android Studio so that you can achieve a certain uh, objective. So for example, like uh, let's say you're building uh, Flutter apps, then you can just download the, the Flutter plugin here. Just click on the install, you restart Android Studio, then you'll be able to utilize this plugin within Android Studio. Then it, this is a long list of uh, 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 what they call plugins. You can actually download whatever one, whatever plugin that you want, and then you can start working with it straight away. And then we have finally the learn. So the learn section is this is where you're going to uh, click on few links. One of them is the Android Studio. What's new in Android Studio? Just to read more about the new updates that are being released by the team. Then if you're experiencing any issues with Android Studio, you can click on the Android Studio help. And if you want to learn more on developing uh, apps with Android Studio, then you are welcome to click on the get started or even go to their YouTube page to learn more about the, the latest updates. And this is all for this uh, quick introduction. Uh, I hope you find this tutorial helpful. Let me know in the comments if you need any, any topics that you want me to cover. And that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and happy coding.